Lama Amar has dedicated herself to the business of storytelling. Today, at a forum on online activism, it's the story of how and why she set up her own digital publishing site, an attempt to share but also reshape a Palestinian story so often seen through the lens of conflict and occupation. Bir Hakaya, or the well of stories, is weighted towards optimism, ambition, humor. She says it's a different way to fight the Palestinian cause and exploit the opportunities presented by social media. Uh, most of us, um, like, they waste time on checkpoints. But we have an article that's called, uh, called uh, the Checkpoints Yoga. So you can do meditation or you, you can do your homework. You can use the time on the checkpoint uh, in, in a very productive way. So here we're talking about the Palestinian reality, but we're presenting it in a different way. Thirteen years since the last national elections, Palestinians aren't just living under occupation, but also with a democratic deficit. The online world, where more than two million people in the occupied West Bank and Gaza use Facebook, is therefore a vital space for activism and debate. But the organizers of this forum say it's far from a safe space. Israel has detained hundreds of people over their social media use, and there have been parallel crackdowns by Hamas in Gaza and the Palestinian Authority here in the West Bank. It has detained journalists and activists and blocked websites under a recently adopted cybercrime law. On stage, the Israel-Palestine director of Human Rights Watch cited what he called intimidatory detentions in both Gaza and the West Bank, quoting one recent detainee despairing of the fact that a regime had emerged before a Palestinian state. It was a direct challenge to a leading prosecutor from the Palestinian Authority who had himself been condemning Israel for abusing online freedoms. al Tamimi denied there was any organized campaign against free speech, saying the authority did its utmost to protect human rights. For those who don't know the law, the limitations in the law, uh, the things which they, these authorities they be, may believe that it's a threat to them. So they, of course, such people, they will think twice before publishing a picture or saying anything against either the authority or, of course, the Israelis. Lama and her colleagues can't do much about the restrictions on their digital space, but they are determined to use it to help change the way their generation of Palestinians see themselves and are seen by the outside world. Harry Fawcett, Al Jazeera, Ramallah.